you could do a couple different like CC chains with this. You could do blink, DB, sheep, get kicked, fuck, done. Okay, now time sheep. So it's like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like that's pretty good. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to press it and show you guys what it looks like without any combos or whatever. Just just purely the stun itself. It's a 40-yard range instant cast, 25-second cooldown. Actually, 30-second cooldown. It replaces Blast Wave, like it says there. You get the benefit from Volatile Detonation, which decreases Blast Wave's cooldown. So actually still a good talent to go that. And you can see this is the range, and it's an instant stun. So it, it says stunned. So I'm assuming it's a stun DR. I'm going to try to maybe shifting it back and see if I can get back to it before the DR. Let's see. Does it not DR? Wait. Didn't seem to DR. Whoa. That's awkward AF replacing Blast Wave. Yeah. I guess that opens up the bind for it. You just use the Blast Wave bind. All right, let's build up some Flame Cannon here. And then how do we get some, I want to build up some Phoenixes or some Spellfire. Every six hot streaks or when you're out of combat, you get one. All right, let's just do Ring of Fire into Living Bomb into Fireball, Combust, Fireboss, Fireboss, Stun. I don't know what those meteor things were at the end there, but we we there was some meteors. Okay. Uh no one really knows what those were, but let's Alright. Okay, so one thing I want to test. Right here we have three. Oh, generating a oh, I gotta spin a proc. Okay. So we get a spellfire orb as soon as we spend this next one. And then with this orb or sphere, we do 4% increased damage while we have it. And then we, after six more hot streaks, we get another sphere. And then what those spheres do is you build those up. And then when you combust, you summon a Phoenix. And then that Phoenix will spend those spheres to cast exceptional spells. So I think what the play is here is to just try to alter this damage. Like just, just, I want to build up a lot of spheres. Can you, can you alter right now? Alter. Nice. Okay, so we're almost to two spheres. Alright, I feel like that, that'll be good for now, I think. I think that'll be good for now. Let's just see what the two spells are. Oh, what is this proc? Your next flame strike deals, or pyro does 100% increased damage? I like that proc. Wait, how do we get that proc? Burden of power. Conjuring a spell fire sphere causes your next pyro or flame strike to deal 100% increased damage. Oh. Okay. All right, burden of power. There it is. All right, let's see how much this fire or this pyro does. Ready? Boom. Big damn. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, here we go, here we go. We're going to combust, summon the phoenix, and let them cast exceptional spells. What exceptional spells means, no one knows. Let's, let's find out right here. Bust. The phoenix is out. What is he going to cast? What's he casting? He's, he's doing... He, he, he didn't do, he's, he didn't, okay. Uh, I could be wrong here, but it says over the duration of your combustion, it casts random spells. Over the duration of bus, your phoenix will consume your spheres to cast exceptional spells. Exceptional spells, okay. Maybe you should be attacking him. I don't think I need to, but I guess I have to. All right, well, we have to start building spheres again. I don't know which way is faster of building them, sitting out of combat or just using six procs. It says he will slowly conjure spheres. I think I'm just going to sit here AFK and see how long it takes to, to conjure one. Okay, nice. I got two orbs. I think what we'll do is we're just going to bust with these. All right, we're going to bust. Summon the phoenix. Looking, for, looking at the phoenix. Oh, oh, that was, that. I think that was an exceptional spell, maybe? That had to have been except, what, okay. Uh, it doesn't show up in the death log, though. Like, what hidden? 
Yeah, I think we might just have to chop this one up to the fact that it's just in alpha. It's it's just in alpha, so everything is going to be a little weird. But yeah, if you if you're also using this to sheep, like watch, you could do you could do a couple different like CC chains with this. You could do blink DB sheep get kicked fuck done okay now time sheep so it's like i i don't know man i feel like that's pretty good and then look if i shift it back right he should be on dr right boom it's just not a dr i think it's just its own dr or something holy fuck if, if it's actually its own dr that is crazy It's not fire. Okay. Uh, it's gotta be arcane then, right? It's gotta be arcane. Oh, you can't blink it. Dude, what? You can't blink it? Okay, mages might be the best class. You have a 25 second stun that can't be blinked and it's on its own DR. And it's AOE. And it's 40 yard range. And it's instant. And it's a 25 second cooldown. The only thing you have to be a little careful of is... I'll, I'll show you guys now. I'll show you guys what you got to be careful of now. So it does damage at the end. Okay. So let me have a lot of haste, for example. Uh, if I stun him, have a lot of haste, and then I sheep right away. The damage portion at the end of the stun actually breaks the sheep. So you have to, if you're trying to stun into sheep, you actually have to time the sheep kind of well. You have to time it to where as the damage hits at the same time. It's kind of the same mechanic as like how sheep into Nova doesn't break the, the sheep, right? You have to like time the damage as the sheep hits because there's like a little threshold of uh, damage. Did we just get a better deep freeze? It's definitely better than deep freeze because it doesn't have the frozen requirement. Like you don't have to ice Nova or frost Nova into it. Imagine you're playing with a rogue dude and you do kidney into triple cheap shot into stun. Can you show it again? Yeah, right here. Like, see, that, that was timed perfectly. And I got a bus proc, so I'm going to damage this guy in here right now. Got to build up my phoenixes, I guess. Fire mage seems like it does pretty piss damage, though. What I want to do is I want to get max uh, phoenix stacks and try and see what spells he presses over the course of that. So, yeah, you could, like, fireball into stun, and then you can damage into it. And he still stuns dude oh what the yo what were a meteorite okay what the fuck's a meteorite okay hold on let's find let's find this out meteorite okay uh meteorite meteor okay consuming burden of power causes your next cast of phoenix flames to call down a storm of eight meteorites okay so basically let me try to Jesus, dude, this expansion is complex. Okay, so if I summon... If I use six hot streaks, and then I get a spell fire sphere, and then I... Wait, how do you can... Oh, conjuring a, a spell fire sphere. Okay, so you use six hot streaks, and that will give you this... You're generating it right now with this buff. Then you... You get one. Hold on, let me make sure he stays alive. So right now I'm at five. So as soon as I get this next one, it'll give me Burden of Power, which is this buff, which causes your next Pyroblast to do increased damage. So I send in the Pyroblast, and then now I get a buff where my next Phoenix Flames calls down Meteorites, right? What? Bro, how am I supposed to keep track of all that? All right, we're at three uh, Spellfire Orbs. I'm going to bust. I'm going to bust. Guys, I'm about to bust. Okay, here we go. Three. He's, he's, he's supposed to do three exceptional spells, the Arcane Phoenixes. Let's just do... Let's bust. Okay, we're watching him. The Phoenix. Our spells fire spheres are, are, are gone. They're gone. We didn't get any... Any... I think that's got to be bugged. I think it's bugged. It's definitely bugged. I think the Phoenix is bugged. Issue reporter. Um, Let's see. Arcane Phoenix does not cast any spells. He casts at the end of bus, no? No, no, that's not how it works. Read it. Your Arcane Phoenix aids you for the duration of your combustion, casting random Arcane and Fire spells. Over its duration, 
your phoenix will consume each of your spell fire spheres to cast an exceptional spell i started with three i pressed combust a couple seconds into the combust i only had one sphere meaning the phoenix consumed two already but didn't do anything so it consumed it but it didn't actually cast the spell and also read this read this um your arcane phoenixes can now cast greater pyroblast when it casts its the exceptional spell so you can bust and you can just proc g pies you are just gonna you're gonna pop combust and then this is what you're getting 200k you are just gonna proc random g pies instant cast from your phoenix i think fire is gonna be broken and then you can just you can just jeep get the random proc and then guess what you're doing off that you're just stunning them yeah into bust dead in a stun and then for some reason my phoenix is lighting up i guess that means the meteorites i think fire mage is looking real good <laughs> All right, so he's, he's he's telling me to try to blink the stun here now. All right, let's let's see if I can blink the the mage stun. All right, stun me. It, it can't do that while stunned. It says. Let's see if the stun kills him. I'm curious how much damage the stun does. Four thousand. I feel like Blizzard always does this. They add like Snowdrift, for example, does no damage, but just enough damage to where you can't do it off a sheep. And then in this stun. Not that I'm complaining about this version of a stun because this is already OP, but it just does enough piss damage just to fuck over the sheep. Yeah, this stun is really insane, I feel like. I am excited. Alright, I kind of want to check out the other trees though. Use mirror images. Alright, pop them. It should take up all the images. I'm going to put one on my focus so we can see the debuff. Okay, wait, it took these two up. Does it have a three target cap? Maybe it's three? Oh yeah, two other nearby enemies. Yeah, two nearby enemies. So you have AOE deep freeze that lasts for three seconds on a 25 second cooldown that doesn't DR. How do you mean you can't sheep off the stun? You can, but there's damage. So like the the stun does a small amount of damage off of at the end. So you have to time the sheep. Like, look, if I just spam sheep like this. If you have a lot more haste and you get the sheep really early on the stun, then it breaks. But there is a small window where it doesn't. I just don't have the haste on this character because my gear is literally trash. It's not on DR with anything? Yeah, so far it's not. So far it's not, yes. Wait, how is he playing a, a Frost Mage with Meteor? Oh yeah, that's the Frostfire tree that whenever you comment, it calls down a meteor. Dude, <laughs> nutty. What the fuck? Alright, watch this, watch this, watch this, boys. So this is what happens when you sheep too quick. So you pop lust, right? You have a lust proc, you have a lot of haste, whatever. You stun, you sheep. This is the problem. Boom, it does damage at the end. So what you have to do is you have to time the sheep well. So you have to stun kind of wait for the end of the stun and then sheep boom so as it kind of ends you get the sheep maybe lob in a global uh i'm not gonna be able to get back to it in time with my love that's a good uh test though that's a really good test fuck i think i need to okay i'm gonna try to get a lust proc from time anomaly uh i don't know what's a good global to use blink maybe okay stun blink sheep damn if you land the sheep with zero seconds on it, it won't break. Yeah, that's that's kind of the idea behind it. Yeah.